I'm Suzanne Coleman with Jog Real Estate and Associates. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about first time home buying. So when you're going to start the process of buying a home, most people search online first. It's statistically about 90%, I think it's a little higher myself, but the National Association of Realtors say about 90% of people start their search online. So that's probably going to be your best bet. As you know, there's lots and lots of sites that you can start searching for. Your best bet is to start educating yourself a little bit on the market, but then find yourself a good realtor that can guide you in the right direction. When you find a realtor that you want to contact, you can really contact them any way that you see fit. In this day and age, a lot of people like to text. Uh, we still do phone calls and voicemail, and of course, email is always um, a good way as well. What you're really looking for here, regardless of how you contact your agent, is their responsiveness. Are they getting back to you right away? Are they communicating? If you contact an agent and you haven't heard from them within a short period of time, you might wanna move on to the next one because this person needs to be very responsive to you because we're in a fast moving market. As a first time home buyer, you're gonna be speaking with a mortgage professional very early on in the process and you'll have different options as far as your loan. What's most popular with first time home buyers these days is an FHA loan that allows you to put 3.5% down on the purchase of your home. This is an attractive option because it doesn't require a great amount of money as a conventional loan would that you would put 10 or 20% down. Another great option if you're currently serving in the military or a veteran is a VA loan that allows you to put zero down on the purchase of your home. When you're a first time home buyer, one of the important things to know is working with a realtor isn't gonna cost you any money out of pocket. So always make sure that you have a realtor on your side representing you. So one of the things that all first time buyers wanna know is what is this going to cost me? When you speak with your mortgage professional, they'll be able to give you a loan disclosure that outlines some of the costs involved with your loan and it'll depend on the type of loan that you have. One of the out-of-pocket costs that you'll have during the escrow process is your home inspection, which runs somewhere between $350 to about $500, and that's paid in advance out of pocket. And another one is your appraisal fee through your lender, and that's generally right around $500. Additionally, the lender and escrow company will have some fees that are required to be paid as part of your closing costs. And sometimes as a first time home buyer, you can ask for, or your realtor will ask for in the negotiation process, a closing credit from the sellers that will help cover some of your costs for closing. One of the challenges that a first time home buyer will face is gonna be competition in the marketplace. Currently, there are fewer sellers than there are buyers in the market. And so what's happening oftentimes is you find a great house and you find out that you're in a multiple offer situation. So here is where you need the skills of a very experienced realtor who can guide you through the process, who can write an offer that's gonna give you the strongest possible case to win that home. One of the other challenges that a first time home buyer can face is just an overwhelming amount of information. There's a lot of real estate lingo, um, there's, there's a lot in the process, there's a ton in the paperwork, and so you really have to have a realtor who's very communicative, that you get along with, that can explain things in a way that you actually understand them, so that you're very comfortable in the entire process, despite the fact that it is daunting, there is a lot of information, and there is a lot of paperwork. One of the things I tell most of my first time buyers is you're probably not gonna find the perfect house. You're gonna look at a lot of houses, you're gonna like some things about houses. I'm gonna learn a little bit about what you like and I'm gonna guide you through the process, but you have to understand you're probably not gonna find the perfect home. So what I like to do is tell my buyers about the 80-10-10 rule. 80% 80 of the house you really like. 10% of the house you can change. 10% of the house there's nothing you can do about. You can't pick the house up and move it to a different location. Uh, there's just 10% that you're just not going to be able to do anything about. And there's sacrifices that are going to have to be made. So you have to decide if that 10% is something that you can live with or if you need to move on to the next home. So that's all for today. This is Suzanne Coleman with Jog Real Estate and Associates. To get in touch with me directly, you can call or text me at 619-206-2784.